I just turned 23. And as I grow wiser, hopefully, each year, I would like to start a tradition where I would share five of the most important life lessons that I've learned throughout for the year that's ahead of me. Life lesson number one, no regrets. Imagine yourself in your deathbed. What wishes do you have? And how many of those have you already done? I have a bachelor's degree in accounting, so the next logical move would be to pass the licensure examination so I could pursue the field that I finished in college. I passed four out of the six board exam subjects in my first take, so my mark was called conditional. Obviously, I had to pass the remaining two subjects for me to become a certified public accountant, which I tried to do. I looked for a job and I was a working student for 10 months and then something happened. Around a month or two before I was supposed to take the examinations, I went to like the governing body where I need to submit all my requirements and stuff. And they told me that the slots were all occupied. Long story short, I have to wait for another six months before I can take my examination. The first thing that came to mind was that I cannot do this all over again for this pitiful reason. And that's when I made the most important and life-changing decision ever. I quit. I thought to myself, all accounting ever gave to me was five years of suffering, depression, and anxiety. I would mentally exhaust myself for hours on end in a single study session without getting any sort of fulfillment. No amount of effort seems to be enough. Meanwhile, I have a job where I get praised for the littlest things that I do, and I have the most wonderful people around me. I get recognition without even trying, and to my understanding, that's all I ever wanted. Life lesson number two is to be you. You have to pursue what you love and stay true to yourself, even if no one supports you. The reality is, it takes time and results for people to believe in your vision. Starting a YouTube channel was something that I wanted to do, I remember, since I was a junior in college. It was the one thing that I saw myself doing for the rest of my life. This channel is almost three months old as of this video. And I still have a lot of things that I want to achieve, but so far, I'm having the time of my life. I can literally say that because of this, I'm living the dream. Life lesson number three is to let go. Be it a grudge or something that happened in the past, it would really make your life better if you would lower your pride and do away with your ego for good. My grandmother, we call her Lola Bilen, so she and I barely agreed on anything. Both of us would have core beliefs and principles that are separated by an entire generation. For years, our relationship would consist of many arguments, the most hurtful words that I've heard and spoken, and there actually was a point wherein I thought that she brings out the worst in me. I'll get into how we settled our differences shortly, but for now, my biggest takeaway from our relationship is how liberating letting go is. I'm not even joking. My life literally went uphill when I made amends with my grandmother. Now, we're partners in crime. While I kick ass doing the things I love and making a career out of them, she is busy taking care of the house and everyone in it. And she does a very good job at it, by the way. Life lesson number four is to seek help. People need each other. And there are just things that we can't do on our own. Going back to my relationship with my grandmother, both of us were so far off course that there was literally no turning back. We had to have a mediator. Interestingly enough, the generation that's causing the gap between our relationship took on this very important role, my parents. It made a huge difference when I heard what my mom and dad's experiences and points of view were. I think all of us would agree if I say that that conversation we had 
fixed multiple relationships at once. And life lesson number five is to enjoy now, like right now. Appreciate what you have and who you have. Live in the moment because a lot of these things and people are temporary. I still want a lot of things to happen. Like I want my YouTube channel to take off. I would like to build my own dream house, financial stability, have my own family and all that. But I know with confidence that I'm happy with where I am right now. I'm not sick. My family is complete. I have a fulfilling job, relative financial freedom, and I lead a comfortable lifestyle. I'd be a fool to ignore all of those things. Let's review. The life lessons I've shared in this video are no regrets, be you, let go, seek help, and enjoy now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.